Well, with 2021 coming to a close, we're looking into crime in Savannah over the last year. I sat down with Savannah Police Chief Roy Minter to get his take on it and how his department plans to step up safety in 2022. We're actually down 6% in violent crime. Savannah Police Chief Roy Minter says that's because of the hard work and dedication by the men and women of the Savannah Police Department. Chief Minter says even with the drop in violent crime, he still has concerns. Are there any disturbing trends that you're seeing? We continue to look at the level of gun violence in our community. Uh, we recently looked at our statistics and we are trending down for the number of shootings that we've had. But violent crime continues to be a concern for us, especially gun violence. The biggest gun violence incident in Savannah this year was the mass shooting back in June that left two people dead and six others hurt. Not having somebody in custody right now who's responsible for that, is that concerning to you? Not really, because I know the detectives are continuing to work on that very hard on a daily basis. There's not a day that goes by that they're not continuing to work on that. You know, you look at what our homicide detectives are faced with and the fact that that unit has a 90% clearance rate for homicides when a national average is right about 66% uh, really points to the hard work and dedication those individuals have. Looking ahead to 2022 with the newly passed budget by Savannah City Council, the Savannah Police Department plans to use its funding for community based programs, new body cameras, and the expansion of its shot spotter program. We're expanding it to additional areas of the city uh, that we think um, are areas that could benefit mm -hmm. from that great program. And we think that will also assist us with um, addressing gun violence in our community and continuing to reduce violent crime in our community. The department will also add a new program. The Violence Interpreter Program is something used in cities across the country that has proven to reduce crime. People who go out in the community and talk to individuals who, for the most part, won't talk to law enforcement. Chief Minter says Savannah is a safe place for residents and visitors alike, and that will continue in 2022. We realize every once in a while things happen, uh, but we do the best job we can of trying to reduce the possibility of those things happening.